This program is a presentation of UCTV for educational and non-commercial use only. Anyone who's walked through a California oak forest has probably encountered acorn woodpeckers. These native birds are easily recognized by their bold, clown-like markings and noisy calls. Hastings Natural History Reservation is the epicenter of acorn woodpecker research. Located at the eastern end of Carmel Valley in central California, its rolling hills are prime oak savanna habitat. Ornithologist Walter Koenig first began studying acorn woodpeckers at Hastings back in 1974. He was curious about their unusual family lives. For example, several mated pairs of adult birds live together in a communal group. That group includes young birds that have fledged up to several years before. All pitch in to store acorns, defend the food cache, and raise new generations of chicks. One of the questions Koenig has been investigating is why young acorn woodpeckers stay on to help the family instead of striking out on their own. Field assistant Anna Brownson is continuing this long tradition by observing woodpeckers caching acorns at Hastings. Basically what, we, what we're trying to figure out is uh, how much time the birds spend moving the acorns, um, how much effort they're expending um, on, their, on their stores, uh, and also, um, we can use uh, the amount of acorns stored in each plot to kind of extrapolate how much storage they have overall in their whole granary. When Brownson observes a woodpecker storing an acorn in one of her granary tree plots, she marks it. She rechecks the plots every week to see whether the birds have moved the acorns. When I started this, this uh, plot for this tree, most of these acorns were old acorns. Um, Especially, we think, because this, this uh, group, the, called the plaque group, um, has two very, very large granaries and a um, very, very large family group, and they have lots of, peop of uh, birds who are helping store. And so we, we have um, acorns on this tree that um, date back three years um, that still have the painted ends. Um, and so we can kind of document that this group is doing pretty well as opposed to other groups where I have plots where it's basically empty. Scientists at Hastings have also added artificial granaries in the form of wooden boards with holes. They want to know whether woodpeckers are more likely to start their own families when given extra acorn storage space. We think that um, one of the constraints um, to the birds not going off and dispersing on their own is that there aren't very, very many prime territories and uh, where they have like a big tree like this with lots of storage holes where they can store their acorns. Um, and so this kind of ties into that because um, it takes a lot of time and energy to store the acorns. You need a lot of help maybe from other family members. Once plucked from a tree, an acorn will dry and shrink. So woodpeckers spend much of their time in late fall moving the nuts to tighter fitting holes. It turns out that young woodpeckers need a little time to acquire this skill. If you watch the fledglings, sometimes they're not, they're not very smart yet and they'll take stones and put them in the holes. I've seen them take lichen and like tap it in. So um, they have a really strong instinct to put acorns in the holes. So <laughs> it's kind of funny. But to a woodpecker, Acorns are serious business. The hypothesis is that the acorns are so uh, necessary for the birds to, um, to breed successfully in the spring. They, they often use the acorns um, to feed their young, um, uh, to kind of supplement the diet on insects, especially if it's like a cold day in the spring and they don't have any insects to eat. That's why for acorn woodpeckers, defending a granary and keeping chicks fed will always be an affair for the extended family. <laughs>